Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Immigration and I have an amazing guest with me. Um, he's a juggernaut in South America, Colombia, Tampa, Miami, the flip man himself, Eduardo. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming. And finally, I'll be able to get into the Latin community through you. And you'll be explaining everything that we will be discussing in terms of um, how you do your real estate, but also how we can get an immigration benefit through real estate, which is something that you have proven to be an expert at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, we work in, a, oh, estamos trabajando por, por aproximadamente unos 10 años en este modelo de negocio mm -hmm. que hemos traído muchos investors yeah. a, aquí a Estados Unidos a través de una visa que es la E2. Yeah. Okay. Ellos invierten en este país mm -hmm. y nosotros las ayudamos con el crédito o con la experiencia que tenemos nosotros. Mm -hmm. Ellos simplemente invierten el 20% mm. del valor de la casa. Okay y nos ellos eh, nosotros los ayudamos con el restante. Yeah. Okay. okay. So so like as you know as mo most Jamaican attorneys mm -hmm. we can understand Spanish very, very well um, but can't speak <laughs> it as well. Oh, so yeah. we're going to do two languages today. <laughs> yeah. So one good thing about um, us meeting each other is that we'll be able to join in terms of the immigration benefit that I can provide, right? Our firm, we have been doing a lot of E2, EB5, and, mm -hmm. and even L1 visas. But with the E2, which you'll be able to explain, is you have to invest in a new or existing business, mm -hmm. right? Where you're a 50% owner, and then you'll be able to get an E2 visa to which you can enter the U.S., live in the U.S., mm -hmm. work, and bring your family. Mm -hmm. Yes. But through real estate, what we're able to do is either one, create a property management company, mm -hmm. Correct. right? And the property management company would own the real estate mm -hmm. and create the jobs and get that person an immigration benefit. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. So, a Nosotros a las personas, de alguna forma, le ayudamos a crear su compañía aquí en Estados Unidos, ¿ok? Uh -huh. eh, una vez creada la compañía, eh, nosotros um, compramos las casas a nombre de la compañía de ellos, uh -huh. ¿ok? Simplemente nosotros somos los guarantors de esa, de esa compra de esa casa uh -huh. y a través del tiempo eh, nos prestan adicional para comprar la casa, los lenders mm -hmm. nos prestan también para el rehab. Ah. Uh, ok. Mm -hmm. So, si la casa cuesta aproximadamente, pongamos, 100 mil dólares, ellos solo pagan el 20%, so 20, solo 20 mil 20, dólares. Yeah. Ok. Y si en el rehab mm -hmm. hay que pagar hay que gastarse 50 mil dólares. Uh -huh. El lender también nos presta para esos arreglos. Yeah. So it's a good business because it's win-win, you know? Yes, yeah. So... Uh, mm -hmm. and, and then I also learned, because I mean, you said 20% from the lender, but, but I've also learned that a lot of times in terms of the lending for these type of flips are for real estate for international investors mm -hmm. it's actually easier to qualify than somebody who is like a u.s citizen yeah. or, uh, or a permanent resident yeah but the situation is que ellos no tienen crédito aquí en los estados unidos mm -hmm. por eso somos muy importantes en el desarrollo de su negocio mm -hmm. porque nosotros utilizan más que nuestro crédito our experience yeah. you know that's very important experience because this kindness of a uh, lender mm -hmm. they just uh, try to work with people like us because we working for example we working for five years with Zillow you know Zillow yes mm -hmm. yeah they 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 were like e-buyers e-buyers mm -hmm. is they buy property in all the country yeah to try to do fix and flip, mm. but that was 
until you know the pandemic, yeah. right? They quit about it because they lost a lot of money. Mm. Because this kind of business, there are two things very important. The first one is you have you have to hire a good contractors. Yeah. Because if you don't find good contractor, the contractor maybe they you yeah. know maybe you lost money or maybe you win a lot of money yeah or they take a long time correct yeah and the other thing that is important in this kind of business is when you buy mm -hmm. okay you know in all the the most important thing is buy the business is not when you when you sell the property the business is when you buy right. Yeah. It's really important. That's what I, we know about, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what I'm working with Silo, and we we learn a lot of, mm -hmm. we got a lot of, because <laughs> we working with them, mm -hmm. and that's, that was like, a, that was my my teacher, something like that, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's what I, yeah. that's what I work with, so. Mm -hmm. So, who is your typical client? <laughs> okay. You know what? It's people from different country in Latin America. Yeah. You know, for example, um, you know, I know that Colombia, Mexico, Argentina, mm -hmm. Bolivia, different countries have the, you know, ellos tienen el convenio, mm -hmm. el con, de, con United States, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. para este tipo de visa. Yeah, yeah that's, that's mm -hmm. our focus. Yeah. Uh, and what problems do you see them typically having? The, the problem is maybe the investor doesn't know this kind of business. Got you it. know, and mm -hmm. sometimes they come to the United States and try to help us, mm -hmm. but they don't know anything. Yeah. You know, they think that the, the house that they, buy, that they buy, they think is they 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 they, they going to keep it and yeah. no that's a business yeah so when you buy the ah. house you have to you know fix everything but you, you don't it's not your house yeah that's what i try to explain to them mm -hmm. that that's a business that's what i do you know yeah move quickly in yes. this kind of business yeah okay 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 all right and what's what do you know about the eb5 okay we working with EB5, mm -hmm. but with different projects. projects. You okay. know, you know. Yeah. So we have project in Miami. Mm -hmm. We have project in, here in Orlando. Okay. But with this kind of business, you know. Got it. So that's what I. That's what we working with different pro, different people. Yeah. But you know what? With EB5, they just get a letter, their residence, right? Yeah. But if they too they don't get the residence that's right. the different right yeah you know more than me exactly yeah so so the difference with the e2 visa which we spoke about mm -hmm. the e2 visa once you make that investment and you're 50 percent owner you will get an e2 visa it's still a non-immigrant visa and you have to renew it every three to five years but the eb5 where you're investing no you have to invest either eight hundred thousand or a million fifty but the big difference is you will be getting a green card at the end. Mm -hmm. um, your dependents, such as your spouse and your children, would get the green card, the children under 21. And then five years later, you can petition for your citizenship. But again, as Eduardo said, the most important part is when you first make the investment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and that goes for the E2 or it goes for the EB5. So there are great vehicles in using real estate and using properties to either get a visa to do business in and out of the US or to get your green card through real estate and through the flipping business. Yeah, correct, correct. Mm. But uh, I know that many people when they start with the e E2 visa, yeah. you know, uh, they, they invest uh, you know, maybe 70, thousand dollars yeah sometimes mm -hmm. but what the difference with the EB5 is too much it's how much yeah. how much we have to invest you know 800,000 or a million fifty yeah mm -hmm. at least yeah correct so 
the E2 is a lower entry. Correct. It's a lower entry. It's a smaller investment. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, if you have more assets, yeah, and you have sure. more capital, yeah. you can go for it as well. Yeah, correct. correct. Yeah. yeah. And Eduardo knows uh, a good colleague of mine, Carlos Preta, who, who is in Bogota. We just formed a collaboration where our law firm will now be operating out of Bogota, Colombia to where we can have more access, more um, a bigger gateway to South America. So if you want to invest and get your immigration benefit, you don't have to come all the way to the US. You can do it right from Colombia. Yeah, and many people in Colombia is scared about the yeah. government. Yes. Petro is the president, so people, yeah. you know, is yes, scared I've about heard. it. I've yeah. heard. Yeah, that's what I, uh, it's, it's really nice because we're working with Carlo and he's really professional about it. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good... We're really, we're, we're very excited about the collaboration and I mean, meeting you and being able to just provide and, yeah. and create more access to South America. Correct. And try to help all these people, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, correct. Creo que con Carlos es una persona muy profesional y su empresa a, tiene mucho renombre en Colombia. Uh -huh. So, hicieron una muy buena colaboración uh -huh. con Carlos. Lo felicito, la verdad. Yeah. Y me gusta mucho que ustedes hayan hecho ese convenio con MPM Abogados. Uh -huh. Realmente es una gran firma en Colombia y está muy, muy posesionado. Lo felicito realmente. Thank you for joining us for a different Latin flavor. Let's talk immigration, where we just discussed opening the new office in, in Bogota and the collaboration with NPM Abogados through Carlos Puerta and talking about E2 visas, EB5s and how you can use real estate mm -hmm. and flips to get an immigration benefit. Thank you. Thank you.